Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Let me just take a moment to see how the technique works here. Yes, here we are. Yeah. Good morning on this uh, beautiful moments of the Lionsgate portal. Welcome, everybody. We take a few minutes uh, to, uh, to get everybody to find this page. Also, the new people are coming in. And uh, take advantage of the silence and the space that is uh, building up in the field already. So we welcome each and every one we know. It's wonderful to be here all together. And we also would like to welcome all the new people who are coming in. Welcome here today in this, uh, yeah, Lionsgate portal, August the 8th. It's, uh, every year, it's a great celebration with all of us around the world. And we would like to say to all the new people who are coming in, during this whole hour of talk and meditation, to take only what resonates in your hearts and let go of the rest. That's the best uh, direction we can give each and every one of us. So feel free. And we appreciate it if you can share this video, if you have communities that can benefit from this space that we hold together. And if you are new to what we do and you like what we do, please like our page. That helps other people find us as well. Yeah, we so appreciate it. So thank you for those who are already doing this and mm -hmm. sharing. Uh, yeah. These meditations that we will be doing this week, um, we will be doing three in total. We have three meetings today on Wednesday and on Friday. Friday, uh, the full moon is coming up, and it's the day that we honor uh, Divine Mother Isis. So we will be building the field through these three meetings, and the meditations will be available this time in both French and German uh, and so we will post them as we receive them for those of you uh, who that could interest. Yeah, we thank Noreen and Barbara from our heart for doing this work of translations uh, uh, for us. So thank you very much. And the meetings on Wednesday and Friday will be on the same time. So eight o'clock in the morning, Paris time. And for those of you who are living on the other side of the world and have a big time difference, the uh, videos will be available on this page yeah? so you can do it anytime you wake up or uh, it's more better it's better for you mm. so. yeah we know there are people getting up very early at two o'clock in the morning or even earlier in order to do these uh, meditations live with us but it does also work of course we all know beyond time and space so feel free to come in and do them once or several times because every time we come back to these meditations they do function differently yeah we have a different relationship every time we do them we also would like to thank those of you who have gifted us with uh, a small donation we really appreciate that donations allow us to do this work mm -hmm. and uh, we have shared a link with this video if you would like to financially contribute to our work there were a few people who were asking about it, so we have added it to this uh, to the text of this video. So uh, thank you very much for thank you. gifting us with that. Yeah. So, so the last two weeks have been uh, really leading up to today's peak, well, starting with uh, the Mayan New Year on the twenty sixth of July, and um, they've. This, this gateway supports us with new light intelligence coming in from the galactic central sun uh, for what we are doing here on Earth, ascending, uh, uh, purifying ourselves, purifying our light bodies. And um, 
this lion's gate portal was traditionally celebrated as the new year in ancient Egypt because of the this very special alignment between Earth, Sirius, and the galactic sun, uh, which presents us with an amazing opportunity for this purification process and also to jumpstart any project or plan we may have been preparing that may be in pipeline. Yeah. yeah, and we're still celebrating it in Egypt. We have many friends in Egypt who are celebrating today this Lion's Gate New Year. And uh, so if if you're with us, uh, we would say happy Lion's Gate mm -hmm. today and, and have a wonderful festivity. Uh, yeah, today we are at the peak of the Lion's Gate portal. It's August the 8th. And uh, as we are in this galactic gateway in which we are able also to communicate much more easily with what we see the etheric lion and lioness who guard the universal heart of our galaxy in the belt of Orion. Mm -hmm. And we've worked with the lion and lioness a lot in our work. Um, and we really found them in this place in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can say a little bit more about Leo and the heart. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because in the astrology, uh, Leo uh, is the lion who governs the heart, and it's ruled by the sun, yeah? And for those of you who might not be aware of this too much, Leo emphasizes the sacredness of the heart. It guides us through our heart's portal into the multidimensional quantum field of all possibilities. And lion, and even if you think of the physical animal, has the deep encoding of authenticity, of leadership, nobility, uh, and innocence, courage, and tenderness. It is the protector of the pure child. Mm. It's really uh, the way to, to look at lion, also the lion in ourselves. Mm. Yes. Yeah. The, the nobility really comes um, forward as a as a quality of being of service and humility to the highest plan of source, um, living in divine truth uh, with courage, with kindness. Uh, so this is a sense of nobility. These are qualities that are coming mm -hmm. through at this time. And at the same time, there is really a sense of innocence that's coming back into our consciousness we're really invited to reintegrate uh, our innocence, our purity, and our trust in divine order and divine grace. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're, yeah. We're, we're really invited to align with these aspects uh, of ourselves as we move into the next chapter of our lives, because the divine child is always innocent always pure and lives in trust. Mm -hmm. And these are really qualities that we are needing at this time um, in order to feel well, in order to um, move forward with joy. Um, we're really all divine children in this realm of life. And uh, we're all sacred, cherished uh, as children of the divine mother. So it's really time for us to reclaim this, to to be in the world as a curious child, trusting and trusting really in the divine realms, trusting that all is well and uh, receiving blessings and grace. Yeah. So feel invited to, to reflect today also on these two beautiful elements inside of us, mm. nobility and, and innocence. Mm. And when we talk about Leo, we often also talk about leadership. And we are invited to resonate with the energy of Leo, which is our inner sun, our divine spark of origin. It's that part that we also say is the I am. And Leo invites us to be the leader of our life's path, walking the path of love, of care, power, joy, gentleness for all even living beings. And I really want to say that this is for all, not just those who are born under the sign of Leo. We all have the sun, which is the ruler of Leo, in our birth radix. And we all know the qualities of Leo in our own unique way. 
And we're truly invited to become the leader of our own life's path in all aspects, in all ways. Mm -hmm. So the energy is really there for all of us to work with. Mm. Yeah, and today as we align with Sirius, which is the sun, it's the sun behind our sun um, uh, in this alignment. Mm -hmm. And uh, But we also align with Orion um, mm -hmm. to connect with what many indigenous cultures consider to be the universal heart of the un universe, yeah, found in the belt of Orion. Many, many ancient tribes teach us that the consciousness of Orion seeded higher earth civilizations, which is why it's so interesting for us um, and, and really nourishing for us to connect to this constellation at this time. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, of course, also an excellent opportunity to charge our system with the qualities and the wisdom of the purest of solar light, uh, the high cosmic intelligence. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a tremendous opportunity in this moment in time, this week, when we're moving through it, to consciously align our resonance with the resonance, resonance of the Christed lion, the Christed lioness, which supports our inner courage. And we really need that in these times, to stay in that field of courage, deep, deep, deep in our hearts, and the solar light supports this courage, supports this inner light. And it's a very auspicious moment also to connect to the voice of our higher heart. And through it to receive the white gold solar particles from the great central sun. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we've worked with these particles a lot. They're in our meditations. So if you feel you want to work with them, uh, please find them and, uh, and and see if you can amplify this field inside of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, we're really astrologically supported now mm -hmm. more than ever to stand in the fullness of our soul mastery uh, in service to the greater whole, in service to this higher plan for Earth, this higher architecture that we're seeding um we know that our role uh it, we know what our role is in this plan we all do when we stay deeply connected to our heart we don't have to know the whole picture it's not necessary mm -hmm. but just the what it is that our next uh, step is in this picture and just by stepping into that next step we are playing our part yeah it's really the next step in the moment, mm -hmm. uh, really mm -hmm. close to ourselves. Mm -hmm. really like this long term, stay really close to the real next step, like we physically take next steps. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's also good to say, because we are coming together this week three times, and in this whole field, in the sign of Leo, in the Lion's Gate portal, we are moving into the full moon in Aquarius on, in our time, uh, Friday, August 12th. For the Americas, it will still be the 11th, but for us, it will be on Friday morning, August the 12th. And this full moon in Aquarius will strengthen the vibration of the new era of, uh, of peace, of freedom, equality, and brother and sisterhood, so where we're all so deeply connected to. So it's yeah. a very beautiful moment to have the festivity of Isis also on this same day when the full moon is uh, is with us to really consciously imbue ourselves with that, those frequencies. Yeah. Yeah. You want to say something also about the numerology? Mm. Numerology? Yeah. <laughs> of the eights. Yeah. What an amazing number. Uh, spiritual consciousness, infinity. Um, it is uh, a number uh, that holds the frequency mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. uh, and the energy of personal authority inner authority, confidence, inner strength, freedom, abundance, and prosperity. It's it's the lemnus gap, the infinity sign doubled today. So the lemnus gap represents the also the unformed, the energetic uh, reality 
moving into the formed, into the material reality. And this perpetual movement of change from the wave to the particle and from the particle back into the wave. So we have this ability to bring in new energy all the time into the manifest form and back out again. And the, the letting go of attachment to how things are and the form that they have in our lives is really essential to being able to be fully in the flow as a creator being in this uh, shift from energy into matter and matter into energy. So we do this through surrender. Surrender is the basic element we keep on talking about and practicing. And through play, connecting to the divine child in ourselves and playing, playing in our reality, allowing this creation to unfold effortlessly as we surrender into it. Yeah. So it's an amazing quality today. It's an amazing quality. Yeah. Yeah. So take benefit of it. If you have the space and time in your life or make the space and time to really step into this field and see what this brings for you and your journey. We really hope you will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who came in a little bit later, welcome. Uh, we really appreciate it that you're with us. We will be preparing ourselves in a couple of minutes for the meditation. And for those of you who are new, we say this always, only take what resonates and let go of the rest. That's, uh, that's the best direction. Mm -hmm. So welcome on this beautiful Lionsgate portal. And uh, yeah, is there anything else you would like to say? No, I don't think so. No? Yeah. We'll just um, take a moment then to settle in and slowly get ready for our meditation today. There we go. Oops. My ears are too small. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I invite you to close your eyes. And to take a few deep breaths. Just become aware of the breath coming in and out naturally. The air moving in and out. The quality of the air. As you naturally breathe in, and naturally breathe out. We will draw our attention, our awareness to the heart space. Consciously dropping from the space of the mind to the space of the heart. And feel how the quality of this energy is very different from the fast moving energy of the mind, especially at this time. And explore this lower energy within the heart space. Just feel how that is.
Bring your awareness to the calmness. Slowing down the heartbeat. Deepening your breath and allowing yourself to fall deeper and deeper into a space of stillness. Allow yourself to fall even deeper, loosening all of your attachments to your current reality, loosening all those strings to fall deeper into your true nature. Moving into greater and greater silence and stillness. And you may notice how the muscles in your head are relaxing. And how good it feels as you let go of any tensions you may have in your head. Allow any tension to dissolve through the rest of your body. As you breathe in and breathe out naturally and consciously. Just let go of everything in the outer world. Bringing your awareness fully into the inner world, into the inner planes, into your inner temple. And feel what it's like to be in the silence, to rest, and to simply be nourished by the stillness. This is the place where there is no story. This is a place beyond time and space. It is a space of our origin where we are one with source. Allow this energy now to nourish you at all levels. You may feel it at a deep cellular level. Any weariness is drawn down into this very deep, deep silence in the inner planes. Relish this bliss of pure awareness. This is a space where there are no strings 
to your current dream. Ties are dissolved just for the present moment and you surrender into complete and total emptiness. Here in this space, you are simply pure awareness. You are naturally whole and holy. You are a divine spark of source consciousness. Observe how it is to be in this vastness of your being. All energy can be renewed from this space. This is where you will find your infinite self. Always. This is where you can rejuvenate yourself, always. And now from this awareness, bring your attention to your light body to the vehicle of light extending out around you in a radius of approximately 10 meters. Feel your body of light, which is a very natural part of your anatomy. You may have already been aware of your light body or you may only now be starting to become aware of it. Either way, just observe this biointelligent, crystalline, luminescent force field around you. This vehicle of light, this rainbow body belongs to you and it carries your energetic signature as you travel across Gaia, our solar system, and our galaxy. Just take a moment to see, sense, or feel this body of light around you. And see how, as you become conscious of it, it becomes more and more active, naturally. Now 
And now effortlessly, with ease and grace, allow yourself to be pulled up into the realm of Sirius, where you are awaited by a great, royal, etheric lion and lioness. They have called you, and now is the moment to hear and to honor that call. So travel to them with ease in your light body. And as you approach them, feel their regal presence. Feel their power and grace. And recognize that they call you here for a purpose. As you bow to them in their divine majesty, allow their great power and divine presence to bathe you. Allow yourself to simply be in their presence for a few moments. Sense, feel, or know that they are transmitting you a great gift at this moment and simply open yourself to receive it. And as you receive this gift, become aware of the heavenly light coming from Sirius. This light is filled with the joy and playfulness of the dolphins and the warmth and gentleness of the setting sun on a horizon. It is full of grace and holds us as in its soft presence, we naturally sink deeper into our true selves, into our true nature. In the grace of this sun, our consciousness aligns with the beauty of light in which there is ample time and space to savor all inspiration. 
our consciousness is full of presence, able to fully savor each and every impulse we are graced with on our earth journey. It is the regal way, the path of divine beauty and grace. In this spiritual light of Sirius, there is playfulness and beauty, presence and grace. In this eternal now moment, there is infinite space and infinite love. In this eternal now moment, there is a deep joy at being a part of creation. In this eternal now moment, there is a profound recognition of the quality of consciousness we are to embody on our earth walk now at the changing of the eras. In this eternal now moment, we feel our full embodiment of the Sophia Christos light and how it permeates our light body. We sense or feel or know that this is the quality of our leadership in this era. We feel the soft power of this light. We feel its embrace its tenderness, and the permeation of its unconditional love. And as we are imbued by this field, of delicate light and love, we see on the horizon a light council approaching us. This light council, the ancient crowned ones from the great central sun, are coming to tell us that they are guiding us at this time of great change in cosmic cycles. They always come during great times of change, and this is one of these times. You may recognize their presence. You may have met them in other times, in other timelines, in other journeys. And they are here today to provide you with guidance on your earth journey. Open yourself to their wisdom and ask them any question you may want to ask them at this time. This is a unique opening in changing cycles in which their sacred knowledge and divine wisdom is available to you 
to assist you in carrying with nobility and honor your task on earth. Allow yourself to be guided and know that you are well accompanied in your role Your role is unique and it can be read through your heart, your internal navigation system. So connect to these crowned ones, these ancient ones who come with such high consciousness to support your process and the collective process in these changing times. And as you communicate with these ancient crown ones, as you are in your deep process with these crown ones, notice that you share a field with millions of brothers and sisters holding a similar consciousness to your own. You are in a field of unified consciousness and you are becoming clear on your particular role and task at this time. You notice that with these millions of brothers and sisters, you operate as one. In this field of oneness, you feel each other as an extension of yourself. There is no separation. In this space, you are truly whole. And you feel fully supported.
as you know you are not alone, but you are one of millions and millions. All coming to earth at this time for this great shift of ages. And you notice, you start to recognize as you are all one, that together you're vibrating in the frequency of divine truth. This frequency of divine truth is an alchemical frequency with the ability to create mass transformation through compassion and love. Feel it as it vibrates through your whole system. And feel it as it vibrates through the whole collective body of human brothers and sisters. United with the Sophia Christ Consciousness, this global alchemical transformation can take place with tenderness and softness and can be held in the arms of the Divine Mother. Feel, sense, see, or know how this can be. Feel how all of Gaia is one vibrating in the resonance of divine truth. And feel the whole human body, the collective body, as it vibrates in divine truth. And sense how this is connected to the heart of Gaia to the core, the diamond core of Gaia. And as this frequency of divine truth amplifies, how it naturally connects to all other systems in our galaxy through one pulse. A synchronized pulse. The pulse of unity. And now Slowly bring your awareness back to the space of your heart. 
Know that you are the leader you have been waiting for. Know that you are noble, courageous, innocent, tender, loving, honest, just, and sovereign. Know that you bring peace to earth in exactly your special way. Your lineage comes from the stars and you have been bringing peace and love to earth for a very long time. You are a holy, multidimensional star being and you know why you are here and what your purpose is. You are here to lead the creation of the new earth and you know exactly what to do. You feel the field of all your brothers and your sisters here on earth who also know exactly what they need to do. All unified, all connected to source consciousness. All bringing in the Sophia Christ light. Each and every one in his or her special way. And feel how it is at a cellular level in your body to experience this unity, this knowing that we are all one. Incarnated for this very special purpose at this time. Allow that vibration to amplify in your cells, in all of the waters of your body. And slowly bring your awareness back to the space of your heart. And take a few deep breaths in and out. And bring your attention to your outer environment the room where you're sitting or to the space where you are. Hear the sounds from your environment or feel the temperature outside of your body interacting with your skin. Slowly bring your awareness to your physical body fully. And 
Take a few more minutes to stretch your body, to yawn if you need, to fully come back to the here and now of your daily life. All the time staying connected to the space of your heart. Fully anchored in the space of your heart. Thanking each and every one on this journey together. For the miracle of life. For being able to participate in this great adventure at this time. So just take a few more breaths and when you're ready, and I invite you to close to open your eyes. Take good time. Your time to look around, to slowly adjust back to the space where you are. Thank you for being with us. We wish you a beautiful, beautiful Lionsgate Porto, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Namaste. Namaste.